What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I've been saving up my Mr. Tackle boxes and my Monster boxes, Bass boxes, to, uh, I don't know why I did it. I just never opened them. Well, I opened them, glanced through them, but I'm going to show you what the difference is. And I got like four months, and then I think I got back towards April or June, somewhere in that area on my Mystery Tackle boxes. But the Monster boxes, if you notice the box, the mail lady left it outside on my mailbox while it was raining. Kind of upset me, but it is what it is. I guess I'm lucky that the mail got it here, right? Anyway, we got like stickers and the card tells you what's in there. Like Mystery Tackle Box. Pretty much, I guess, all the, you know, tackle boxes that get, you know, your mystery boxes and stuff like that get sent to you. Anyway, we got a RK Crawler MD55. That's pretty cool. It looks like he's a... Yeah, four to eight foot. That'll work around here. We got the Monster Bass uh, Mad Dog Swim Bait. Five inch, five eight ounce. That's pretty cool. I'm just going to grab it all out of here that way. We got some white tubes that look like cookie dough to me. There's no name. I've never heard of it. And then we got the Venom. Uh, Ten. Pepper Grass Worms. That looks pretty cool. I use a lot of plastics. I'm a plastic guy. Then we got Strike King, Spinnerbait, 3 8 ounce. Pretty cool. And then we got some uh, Big Bites, uh, Crawl, College, uh, College Crawl, Green Pumpkin, and Blue. That's pretty cool. Then we got some Standout, their drop shot hooks. Nice uh, size, just quantity 5. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Anyway, that's what's in that box. That's a, but don't get me wrong. Uh, Monster Bass does a good job of, you know, picking your tackle for your region. I've had some good stuff out of them and good stuff out of Mystery Tackle Box. It's just, I don't know, just something about Mystery Tackle Box. They always uh, send me a little bit better quality stuff than <coughs> Monster Bass, but... They both have their ups and downs, you know. You got the card. And this package right here, this is the box whenever my wife, my wife opens them whenever they come in. Because she likes looking at them to see what's in them, what the price of them is. And anyway, they were short on something. And if I, let me find it. I put it in the same box where I wouldn't lose it. But anyway, I'll just go on with it. We got Scott Mark and Lights. Scott Martin, Live Target Frog. Pretty good. It'll work good springtime. Then we got some more tubes. Tubes was in the last one. And these are uh, 3.5 Pro Model Tubes. KVD qui uh, Kick. I don't know what they are, but they look like they're kind of like green pumpkin or watermelon or something like that. They're green. That's cool. And then we got the Boy uh, Bank Road Jig. We, I use quite a bit of that. I got a bunch of them, matter of fact. And then we got the uh, Blue Flake Yum 7.5 Chini. Big old worms. Then we got some more hooks. We got Jimmy Houston. <laughs> Jimmy Houston, the fish kisser. He's cool. And the uh, Daihachi hooks. Then we got the uh, Bandit Lures 200. Uh, four to eight foot. And I don't know what color it is. It kind of looks like it got shad pattern on it. Could be cut shad or anything. Then we got the Monster Bass. Mad Max Topwater 238. One, uh, one, or one third ounce. He ain't very heavy, but I'll throw him. Here's the one that they sent me. And this little package right here. Because they were short on something in my box. And they sent me, and I messaged them, and then they replied back, told me to pick anything off their site that I wanted. So I went with the Zero Gravity Airquake Hybrid. I'll have to bend the, the thing there, because if I'm not mistaken, it'll just, and I don't, I don't know, it just makes too much motion in the water. But I guess it would be good for spring. They'd probably tear that up. But Mystery Monster Bass was good about doing that. They didn't have to, because just... 
they could have said, well, you probably took it out, but they didn't. So that's that's one point for Monster Bass on that deal. We got VNM, uh, VNM Thunder Shad, Talipia, and them some. Uh, I don't know what color, but they look like they're green with purple, green, pink, bunch of different flake in them. But there's some big old worms. Pretty cool. And then we got a monster bass sticker. That's all that's in that one. I'm just trying to hurry up and go through this. I, I know I should have put the camera right here where you can see me lay everything out, but I really ain't got time for that, and I know none of y'all do either. So I'm just trying to blow through this as quick as I can. And all the boxes have already been pre-cut open. My wife, like I said, she looks at them before I get home from work. It's kind of like I'm helping pay for them, so I want to see what's in them. Oh, well, didn't even know I had that. I should have used it. <laughs> It'd be all right. Anyway, we got some mustard hooks. Four-aught. There's three to a pack. Pretty cool. I like, I like the wide gaping hook for whenever I'm... Use a Texas rig or something like that. Makes that old worm just look, makes him look right. And then, well, you know, they sent me some yum watermelon seed sharpshooters. Pretty cool. And then y'all remember whenever Monster Bass, if any of y'all get Monster Bass, whenever they was advertising their new uh, uh, Ragnar top water, 4.75, three and a quarter ounce. It's pretty cool. It's a big old monster there. I ain't never got to use them. But they will be going in my tackle box. Got stickers. Everybody likes stickers. I do. I just got to find a place to put them. Then we got the Lunker Hunt Yappa Bug. Yappa Series. It's pretty cool. I got a place for him. I think I got one or two more that I've got in a couple of different boxes. Then we got the Bomber Long A. It dives uh, two to three foot. Got that old gold look color to him. Gold with black with that orange belly. That worked pretty good. And we got this monster perch. Savage gear. Lures with an attitude, it says. It says real 3D scan. So uh 12.5, 55 grams, slow, slow sink. Tuning weight included. Okay. That's pretty cool. Anyway. That is big old perch. I ain't never got to use him either, but I will. And boy, I don't know what it is about down here in the heartland. Here in Oklahoma, boy. 70 degrees, sunshine. I should be on a creek bank, but uh, I got to get these open and get them out of my truck. Got the uh, DT... CO Doomsday D Hop. I've never seen a frog like this. This is Durafoam. It's strange looking. I guess you rig it yourself with whatever hook you want, but it's just weird looking to me. I'm used to our frogs already having the hooks and stuff in there, but it's something new. Then we got some more, uh, got Big Bite, Big Baits, Big Bite Baits. Let me say it right. Rosia Fighting Frogs, Tulipia. They look like they're green pumpkin with all them crazy flakes with pink, purple, green. Anyway, it's pretty cool. We use a lot of the green pumpkins, watermelons, and stuff like down here. We got a lot of clear water. Our lake down here is super deep, but super clear. It's got some big fish in you, you just gotta find them. And I'm a bank fisherman, so kind of hard for me to find them. Can't drive out in the water in my pickup. I tried if the sucker had a motor, just saying. Not a engine, a motor. Boat motor, that is. <laughs> but anyway, come on. Time to get through there. Right off the bat, Strike King Buzz Bait. Three eight ounce. Chartreuse, pretty cool. We got the uh, 3D Scan uh, Savage 3D Bat. I've never seen a fish eat a bat, but I guess they do it. Then we got X Zone or Pro Series X Zone lures, uh, adrenaline bug, eight pack, black blue flake. That's pretty cool. Be a good trailer on something. And we got another perch, live target this time. Sunfish, uh, 
crap it. So, I don't know. It must be a different language. Swim bait. Anyway, it's pretty cool. And that's two purchase. And we got some mustard hooks again. Quantity three, size three aught. They got them big gaping gaps the way I like them. That's cool. And then we got uh, V and M. Give the fish what they really want. It says Bassmaster Classic Champion Cliff Pace. Anyway, pretty cool. V and M High Tail Shad White Ice. That'll work. But they also got a swim bait. Woo wee! Great Lakes. The only thing I don't like about Great Lakes, man, they don't ever tell you what the colors are. I guess you just guess at them. Them right there looks like some kind of wine color. I don't know. And then we got my boy, Mr. Z-Man, my favorite tackle right there, dude. I don't care who. I don't care what it is, whatever you're fishing for, man. I always get a bite on his stuff. Giselle Min uh, Minos, <laughs> AU, four pack or five pack, size four. Anyway, they're pretty cool. Make good trailer on something. And I know one thing, you don't want to put Z-Man plastics. Don't take them out of the package and lay them with any other plastic. I found out in a hurry. I, I had a used, uh, what I was using for a wacky rig, and it was almost ripped in half, so I just laid it up in top of my tackle box on top of the other little pieces, you know, that, because I'll keep the ends if they got like chartreuse in, and I might use them for a Ned rig or whatever. That way I can get more out of the bait and i laid it right on top of it that dude melted <laughs> so don't do that and we got some pretty cool stickers and every time i look down in here i'm getting some kind of uh 20 off and i don't ever, I don't hardly ever open the boxes so i don't know that they're in there so all them codes are bad and probably no good no more anyway that's all the monster monster bass boxes like I said, I'm not throwing monster bass bass under the bus. They they send some good stuff. It's just it seems like mystery sends me more name brand stuff that I know, you know, because we live in a small community and uh, we got small tackle shops and they send me a lot of stuff like they like what I'm used to buying if I can get it. Well, I got some cool stickers and anyway, if you're wondering why I got, you know, the uh, I think it's like the ten dollar box. Well, anyway, it come out be like seventeen bucks to to the elite box. I wanted to see what the difference was, you know, how much you got, see if it was over. And I never switched to the pro box, but I'm going to. I want to see what it what the difference is between elite and pro. Kind of make my mind up which one I want to stick with. But so far, elite's been been my go to. We got mustard hook two pack, uh, three aught. We got the uh, Chris Grout Catchco. Bug square bill, babonic, babonic. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Anyway, I like square bills. And then we got some uh, shaky heads. There's some FNS fishing around here. We do a lot of that. Big bite baits. We got a uh, swimming crawl, black neon. Pretty cool. And then uh, I don't know, amazing baits. I guess this is made by Catchco. Yeah, it's got their logo, so. I need to start putting what the hell, what color they are. Just saying. <laughs> Where I'll know. But anyway, it looks like some kind of copper to that effect. Here we go. I'm just trying to burn through these. And I know I'm talking too much because my wife's standing over there telling me. <laughs> It'll be all right. I've done worse, I promise you. what's in the next and if you're wondering how come i got two of these because my wife gets a mystery tackle box in her name and i get one in mine so i get like double christmas every month <laughs> got some pretty cool stickers and stuff and then you got your you know tells you what's in your box and see here we go again oh wait raptor tail seven inch worm that's a raptor tail never seen a raptor that color got mustard hooks just like another one two pack three aught but see, what's so crazy is this is the same month. And this one right here has got a Vexen Deep Thud series. Fat boy. Uh, Deb, four feet, half ounce. That one didn't have that. You see how they changed? Now look at this. Got a Z-Man Chatterbait, which that one didn't have. 
See, that's what I'm talking about, about Mr. Tackle Box. That's what I love about them. Anyway, that's my man right there. You can't go wrong. 38 ounce. What? Do what? That's not the same month. It ain't? Oh, wait, then never mind. Scratch that. This is one month, this is a different month. I got so many boxes, what can I do? Anyway, we got sweet spot tackle. I'm glad you told me that. Two different months, boys. But anyway, you see what I'm saying. You get for for 17 bucks, dude, you get Z-Man. You get Vexen. You get some pretty cool worms. You get mustard hooks. And that's for like 17 bucks. You can't go buy that stuff at Walmart for 17 bucks. So, I feel like I come out ahead on tackle whenever I go through these guys. That's $17. So, it's a pretty good deal. And this right here, I can't tell you what month it is. Anyway, it's it goes back to April or June, somewhere in that area. Anyway, we got Booyah. 38 ounce bankroll jig pretty cool it looks like blue and black then we got the booyah one knocker looks like craw colors pretty cool then we got the best lures on the tour nico they already rigged up for you already got your little metal ring gave you a couple of hooks all you gotta do is have a pole in line you can go fishing there's some of that wacky st stuff and then you got the uh balls awake one uh, i don't know how deep it goes but anyway it's a square bill so i'm gonna say probably two to four foot how short that bill is and it looks like he's uh purple chartreuse and got some white yeah pretty good looking thing and then you got the uh big bite big bite baits buzzing war mouth I don't know, it looks like white frogs laying on the side. Them the skinniest damn frogs I've ever seen. <laughs> then we got jid rig, size, 2 watt, 3.5, 1 8 ounce. Comes with weight built on it. Pretty cool. XL ribbons. Y'all remember whenever they, the ministry started first putting these out? I want them, I want them, I want them. I told the wife, man, I bet I catch it. <laughs> I got them and I never used them. But anyway, they're, it's cool. The XL XO <laughs> Anyway, that's all that box. Now I'm trying to hurry, boys and girls. What, 20 minutes already? Ah, I'm a going. I'm a going as quick as what I can. I talk more on this, on, on these things than what I'm supposed to. But I feel like, anyway, you got your stickers. Did I look? No. Okay, we got Sweet Spot Tackle. Looks like black with blue flake of some sort we got big bites looks like dingers uh watermelon green flake we got great lakes agitator uh looks like it might be ghost color but he's he got good rattle to him a lipless crankbait we got the booyah uh toad runner it's i don't know looks like a frog with a half a whopper plopper built into him anyway that's pretty cool uh i don't know what he weighs but it's pretty cool looking then we got a oh here we go what i'm talking about we got the whopper plopper my buddy keith story there you go see keith that's why you go mystery tackle box they seen you whopper plopper <laughs> love this thing but anyway looks like it's three half ounce uh Three and a half ounce, uh, probably a 90, if I'm guessing. Anyway, looks like chartreuse. It's pretty cool. And then we got my man, Z-Man. Spinner. Uh, three and a quarter ounce. That's a big old spinner. Looks like I got that Colorado spinner on it. That's nice. That's why, I'm, that's why I was trying to tell y'all. I'm not knocking monster bass, but... You don't see monster bass sending you Z-Man stuff like this and whopper ploppers like that. And the box is worth the money to me. And then we got the Booyah uh, prank popper. We got that bone color. It's pretty cool. I use them quite often. And then we got the Blitz Blade. Anyway, Blade Bait. 
I ain't never used that either, and I heard they're pretty good in cold water, so I might break him out today after I get this done, get over. I'm gonna go fishing today. I got a bunch of new tackle to try out. <laughs> Just saying. <coughs> All right. Moving on to the next box. We're moving on up just like the Jeffersons did, you hear me? Anyway, y'all like that? I got that to put my new, in my new videos, man. I'm a diehard Sooners fan, if you don't know. They ain't the best in the world, but I love them. Been watching them since I was a kid. Anyway, we've got foot, uh, Finesse Football Jig. Tungsten. Pretty good looking. Looks like blue and black. Good looking. And now we got the uh, V-Tail Shad. Never seen Red Shad, but I'm guessing they exist. Nipping quality is all as it says. Made in Japan. I can't. Clear red pepper is what the color is. <laughs> okay. Y'all remember whenever Mystery was doing these? Bait balls? That tells you how old this box is. Anyway, live target, y'all know what that is. And then we got the uh, Lunker Hunt Prop Frog. He got propeller feet too. I think Matt, uh, I can't remember who it was, but anyway, I seen him all, no, it had the whopper plopper tail, but these got the feet that spin. Pretty cool. Big old uh, offspring buzz bait. Feel the vibration, one fourth ounce. It's good looking buzz bait. And then we got some uh, drop shot weights. That's pretty cool. I didn't even look at what size they was. And now we got the uh, flat balsa B2. I'm gonna say he dives. I'm gonna say he's gonna dive deeper, but I, I don't know how deeper. Anyway, we'll just call it five to ten feet. We'll call it that. How about that? And we got stickers, and you know your little books tells you what's all in there. My wife keeps coming out, show, uh, throwing her hands. You know, you gotta hurry, you gotta hurry. I'm trying to hurry. It's kind of hard to do because it, she's seen all this stuff. I, I, I never really opened it. Now I can't get this stupid thing back in there. I guess these are packaged a certain way for all that stuff to fit, and I'm just throwing them all back in there. It'll be all right. They'll get over it. Just hope I don't bend nothing. Two more boxes to go. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try something different on this one. Let's do this. There we go. Okay, now this is an old box. This is back around uh, April or June because I was getting catfish stuff in there. We got, uh, we got Amazing Baits, The Hunch. It's, called, it's a Catch Co product. And I don't know how deep it dives. We'll do it. Oh, yeah, I do. Zero to four foot. Looks like it's got shad colors with chartreuse sides. Pretty cool. And I see, this is how I know what it was because it's, it's catfish stuff. I don't even order the catfish stuff no more. And then and these right here, shimmer shad. I think I got this for trout. Anyway, that's how I know how old this box is. And we've got some tie offs for. And then we got Catch Big Fish, Pan Fish. It's called the Lunker Catch Big Fish uh, Premium Fishing Products. It don't even tell me what it is. Lunker, you need to start putting what the stuff is, man. Okay, here we go. River Worm, Red Worm. There you go. And then we got, yeah, this was whenever I was trying to... Floating Minnow. This is when I was trying to catch uh, trout. I can go up there now, figured it out. I, I don't really need jigs to do it. I'll go up there and fill up. I can get my my number in probably that quick. <laughs> four uh, four aught, two hooks. You already got swivels tied onto it, I guess, to keep you from getting your line all twisted. Then we got Charlie's Worms. Uh, medium texture, high floater. Pretty cool. Scented. They probably ain't sending no more after riding in the back of that truck for a long time. And then we got Lucky Craft USA. Looks like a. Don't tell me. There's something magical. 
Bevy Shed 75 SP Pearl Thread, Thread and Shed, 38 ounce. Pretty cool. Got that chartreuse on it. Ooh, come back here. And then we've got the uh, Reaction Strike Ranger. Looks like perch colors to me. And uh, Ghost Bluegill, 70 millimeter. RS Ranger, two to four foot. That's good. And that's it. I always send some cool stickers. I just need to find something to put them on. I don't want to put them on my back glass. Not give me a big old tackle box and just start sticking them all over it. That way they'll just be gone out of the box. I don't want to burn them. Or if somebody wants them, hit me up and I'll send them to you. One of the two, however you want to do it. One more box, people. I'm trying. Okay. I must have got, uh, anyway, got the same color. Bug square bill. Ba -boom -nick. Ba -boom -nick. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Got stickers. Daihachi World Sharpest Hooks. I don't even know what. They ain't very big. I know that. They ain't no three or anything like that. Got another shaky head. Pretty cool. I got X Zone Pro Series. 3.25 Muscle Back fit and Finesse. Green Pumpkin Black Flake. And I got uh, soft baits with Rage Tail, Strike King. And I don't know. Anyway, they're they're blue with light blue with look like white, white flake in them. And then we got the uh, Bagley Balsa Shad 05. Uh. 05, BS05, RCW. I don't even know. I ain't going to be anyway. He, lit, he got crawd colors. Looks pretty good. He ain't very heavy. I'd have to use him on my spin reel or something. Then we got some swim bait heads. That'll go good with the other things. And they're one fourth ounce. And then we got amazing baits again. I'm looking to see what they are. They look like they're, I don't know, look like copper with red flake and all that. You see them? They look pretty good. And then we've got the uh, Lucky Craft. It's the Shingo BV50 Sinking Ghost Minnow. Depth two to three foot. Uh, one fourth ounce. Ain't very big, boy. Anyway, all right, man, that does all my boxes. I was just trying to hurry up and get through there, and I know it took longer than what I was, what I was planning on, but it'd be all right. I'll get this uploaded, and hopefully uh, y'all enjoy it. But you see, I'm not throwing monster bass under the, under the bus. They have their plus marks, but Mystery Tackle Box, every time that I see, you know, I get something that's name brand stuff that, that I've seen, you know, they send quite a bit of catch coat stuff, but that's fine. I, I like using new stuff, same with Monster Bass. So I give them both a thumbs up, but I'm going to stick with my Monster Bass, my boy, Carl. And then uh, my next video, and hopefully it's today, I'm going to do the Mondo Kit Challenge. I'm going to take it out, try to catch something on it. I've seen all, a lot of videos with what they've had in them. I'm sure it's the same stuff due to the time of year, you know. Which is understandable, but there's stuff in there that I know that I can probably catch fish on around here. But anyway, until next time, I appreciate if y'all like, share, and subscribe. If y'all like it, smash that like button. Or do something. Share it. Comment. I don't care. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. My uh, assistant, she went over to play basketball, so I got to shut it off myself. All right. Y'all have a good day. The sooner fishing, I'm out. And we'll catch y'all. On the next one. And BAM! That's right. MTB shirt, baby. We out. Given that's how we live it, don't be mad at the system, it's simply how we've existed.